We always talk about China being the source of more pollution than any other country in the world. But sometimes we forget the fact that they're creating products for us. However, at the same time, they're also providing solutions. Solutions like the world's biggest floating solar farm. Now, Beijing headquartered electric power company, Huaneng Power International, has completed the world's largest floating solar project, which is in Shandong, an eastern province on the Yellow Sea. This 320 megawatt project is by far the largest solar farm to come online in the world to date. Hello, my friends, and welcome to The Electric Viking. My name is Sam Evans. You are watching the YouTube channel that makes videos about electric cars, batteries, technology of the future. Big shout out to those of you who have subscribed to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Make sure you check out some of the 700 plus videos we've created over the last six months. Welcome back to everyone else. Now, before I talk about this solar farm, I should point out the fact that a solar farm that will be twice the size is about to be built this year in India. That project will be 600 megawatts and it's be, it'll be part of a very interesting system. I'll talk about that in just a second. Now, the world's largest floating solar farm, which was just finished in China, sits in a reservoir near a 2.65 gigawatt hour coal-fired power station and it's connected to a 100 megawatt wind farm and eight megawatt hours of battery storage. All three together form the Huaneng Desu Dingshang Integrated Wind and Solar Energy Storage Project. Now, I'm sure I didn't pronounce that correctly, but it doesn't really matter, does it? The point is, this is a very impressive project. They all share power and infrastructure that feeds energy to the grid using the existing transmission lines that were built for the coal power station makes a lot of sense. Now, PV Magazine said the following. HPI built the solar plant in two phases with capacities of 200 megawatt and 120 megawatt, respectively. The first phase, which included the deployment of eight megawatt hours of storage capacity, was completed in 2020. While the second phase was finished between mid-September and the end of December. Now, the facility is expected to generate around 550 million kilowatt hours of electricity per year, the company said, without disclosing any additional technical information. Now, right now, China is actually responsible for half of the world's coal-fired power generation. And unfortunately, it is still launching new coal power plants, even though it doesn't like them, simply to provide enough energy to all the new companies starting up in China. I mean, obviously, the electric car revolution has to be powered by something, doesn't it? And unfortunately, some of that power is coming from coal. However, remember, the costs of solar PV have declined by 89% over the past 10 years. And those cost declines will continue. So that means that that, in combination with enormous cost declines in battery prices, will see renewable energy projects become more and more financially viable and logical for China. Now, what I love about this project is the fact that the water actually keeps the solar panels cool. And when solar panels are cooler, they are more efficient. If you just stick the solar panels out on top of a roof, they actually can get very hot and that degrades the efficiency. Now, the other advantage here is that you get less water evaporation by having the water covered in solar panels, which reflects the sun and absorbs the sun, which is great in dry and hot areas. Now, what this means is that 20% of the incoming solar energy disappears back out as electricity, or around 23% with current solar technology. Of the remaining 77%, half of the heat radiates up and about half of the heat goes down. So the heat hitting the surface of the lake would be less than 40%, meaning significantly less water evaporation. Now, like I said, we always talk about China being the biggest polluter in the world. And that's true. But we forget often that the reason they're polluting so much is because they are making products for all of us in the West and everyone else as well to consume. So realistically, we are part of the problem. But like I said, the great news is that more and more of these projects are coming online, like the new project in India, which will be double the size of this at 600. 
100 megawatt. Now this project is actually going to be built on Omkareshwar Dam in India. And it's estimated that it will take around two years to complete. But when it's finished, the project will provide cheap and good quality power. Now electricity there in India will be produced in about 2000 hectare water area by installing solar panels directly on top of the dam. The solar panels will float on the surface of the water in the reservoir. Now what happens to dams, right? When the water gets windy and choppy? Well, experts say that when water level of the dam is low, it will automatically adjust the panels upwards and downwards. Strong waves and floods have no effect on these panels whatsoever. Now, obviously these kinds of projects are awesome for really sunny places like Australia, Africa, and many parts of Asia. Here, for example, in Australia, solar uptake is the highest in the world. And there is many places in Australia where it's uncommon to see houses without solar panels on them. In other words, hundreds of thousands of people here in Australia generate their own electricity, all of it that is. This will become more and more common all through the world as the price of solar panels continues to decline. And it will, as it has every year for the last 50 years. On that note, the future is only getting better and better as new technology will eventually replace the old. What does that mean? Coal-fired power stations? It won't be long before they are uncompetitive on price with renewable energy. We're certainly heading that way. That's how the future looks to become. Thanks for watching the video and I'll see you again on the next one. Bye-bye.